I don't know if you've ever experienced knowing the look that you want, but not knowing what that looks like. And for me, when it came to the tennis shoes, I knew that I wanted this really intense, eye-popping look that was just bam. Number one, use a lifelike, high-quality HD image. The print needs to be high quality. Um, these prints actually typically look, they have to look like a photo, uh, fine detail, like a painting, for instance. And to some that might seem self-explanatory, but it wasn't for me. I did a lot of shoes before I realized that that is what I needed to put on tennis shoes to make it look more mature and give me that eye-popping bam I was looking for. See, a childish pattern on a high heel is still going to look mature. It's a high heel. But when it came to tennis shoes, I realized, okay, it needs to be a high-definition image. See, if you take time to look closely at this pattern, notice how many different blues there are in that flower. There are about eight different blues in the flower. Uh, you see several different reds and pinks and plums. So number two has to do with the size of the actual images on the pattern. So the pattern must have fairly large Im images with regards to the shoe. Um, consider the ratio of the flower to the actual shoe. And here's where we bend the rules because typically I've been taught or I've read that large prints go on large items. Uh, you know, a print with large flowers, the size of maybe my hand, those will go in a dress or drapes or a pillowcase or something like that. But here is where the rules are. We bend them because that intense eye popping look, it can only happen if the image is large because our feet are far away from our eyes. So the image has to be large enough for you to see that very HD lifelike detailed image. And lastly, number three, to use a combination of colors that are on opposite ends of the color spectrum, that contrast, because that pop will reach its highest peak if the colors are contrasting. You see here, I have the white canvas shoe and fabric that has really, really rich, intense blues up against the white. So you get that pop if the colors are contrasting. So that pretty much wraps this up. And if you liked the content, maybe you can like the video. And if you're a returning viewer, maybe it's time to subscribe. So I'll be incorporating some content that also shows how to customize your garments. I know I've done a lot of accessories and shoes and clutches, things like that, but um, I'll start to incorporate some garments as well. So you'll see a combination of content.